To get a turbo boost while power sliding, wait until the smoke from your exhaust turns black. Then press the L1 button. If you wait too long, you'll hear a backfire sound and miss your chance for a boost. <laughs> and there you go, that's how you do your boost drifting, which I told you about already. Hello and welcome back to Crash Team Racing. I keep on going to say Mario Kart, but it's not fucking Mario. All right, so let's go to Papo's Pyramid and pick ourselves a peachy piece of... <sighs> commentary. All right, let's play. And as you've noticed with um, Ripper's uh, level, L Ripper's boss fight level, you're playing Papu's boss fight level in advance. So it's kind of nice that you get to basically practice at the stage before you get to play the boss fight, which is nice. Though, when it comes to this game, I have heard criticisms that people don't like how the boss fights aren't exactly special. They're just a regular old race with rubber banding and with a boss fight that just drops a specific kind of item. And once you know what you're doing, it's easy. But I don't know. I liked the boss fights. I still do like the boss fights. Then, I go, then again, I can see exactly where their criticism is coming from, and I'm not going to try and do that very shitty jump just for a couple. What I am going to try and do is this one. There we go. Very tight one. And then you jump back down here, which is the part of the start of the level, which is awesome. And then you go over here, and you're in the regular part of the race. Now, if I can get a speed boost later, I can show you an awesome shortcut if I don't get eaten by this pl plant. I almost said piranha plant. God, I keep on. I've just got Mario Kart in the brain, even though I haven't played it in ages. Really? In second place? What the fuck? Oh, this place is- this pyramid is hard to drift around. Okay, here we go. Hard to drift around, he says, after successfully drifting around it. And if you drift too far while holding the button in the direction that you're turning, you can end up making your character spin out. So, nifty variables. Alright, let's see if I'm gonna- I'm gonna try this. I knew that wasn't worth it. <laughs> you need a speed boost for that shit, but then landing it after the, that, that is hard because you're going directly into the off of the level like this! Oh, don't beat! Don't let this be the race where I finally cock up and lose because of me trying to show things to the lovely viewers. Jump down here, get the! Oh, <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> God damn it! Give me that box. Lovely. Aku aku! <laughs> the polar bear just landed on top of me. Ah, oh, and Crash even yelled "Whoa!" at that. Coco is in first place. I probably should have shown you guys all the characters that you can pick from, but I don't know. You can kind of see who's in it and who isn't from the uh, icons on the left. Coco, Crash, and... What's his name? Nitrous Oxide, I think? Oh! What a fucking shot! Goddamn. And then Cortex, we got Dingo Dial, we got Tiny the Tiger, and we got the Polar Bear and the Tiger. I'm not gonna go that way this time. Also, whenever you have 10 Wumpa Fruit with the shield, you get a blue shield which never fades away until you fire away. And fuck you, Coco. Have another one. Please hit her. Okay, that one exploded on her, so that's fine. Alley up. And lovely jubbly. Fucking nail in these races, and that one was looking a bit sketchy because I thought I was going to lose. But you should never doubt the power of me driving, I guess. I'm a good driver, by the way. Hey. Right. Despite the fact that, all right, you know what's going to happen? We're going to talk about my driving experiences, because I drive now. If you didn't know, I passed my driving test, so that's what we're going to talk about now for the rest of this episode. So, I passed my driving test, Mother insured me on her car, and let's listen to Aku Aku talk about something that we've probably already talked about. To get around a tight turn, or to face a direction quickly, use the brake slide by pressing and holding the square button while turning hard. <laughs> Power sliding! I think that's what, that's what that's called. Or at least, handbrake turn? Maybe? I don't fucking know. But yes, so I'm, a, I'm legally allowed to drive now, and I can drive a car! It's amazing! And already I have hit a wall. <laughs> uh, no, I swear I'm a good driver, but basically what happened was we were meeting up with some friends after playing airsoft with some other friends, and as I was parking up against the wall, I kind of didn't really judge my distance very well. I'm not very good at judging distance, and I didn't judge the distance of the car bonnet compared to the wall, and at zero to one mile an hour, I slightly tapped the wall as me and my friends in the car were like, oh shit, and then my friend in the car next to us who was waiting for us went... So we got our, we reversed the car and we took a look, and thankfully there was no damage, and I told my mom about it, and she was completely fine with it, being like, you know, at least you told me, yada yada yada, and, you know, it was just a misunderstanding, you know? But uh, thankfully, there was absolutely no damage on the front of the car, and um, 
I actually got sort of payback for doing that because I felt around the front of the bonnet, you know, the paint to see if anything was damaged, and why did I just bounce off tiny like that? But I felt around the bonnet to make sure that there was no damage to it, and what I thought were scrapes turned out to be bird shit. So I was rubbing my fingers in bird shit thinking, oh no, I've damaged mother's car. Oh wait, no, it's just def that's definitely just bird shit. So, uh, good times, good times. Whoa, oh, 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 problem, problem, problem. Second place invincibility. I don't know if it's because this is just single player or if this is just bullshit, but I'm liking this. So far, this let's play has been flawless. Can we get a flawless let's play where I don't lose a single race? Probably not. Probably not, I'll be honest. Shit gets harder eventually. Whoopee! I miss Crash. I miss his funny voice. Oh, I miss the br brilliant writing, even though Crash doesn't speak. Also, speed boosts in this game compared to, like, unlike Mario Kart, you can't seem to speed boost on, like, dirt road, well, basically uh, on anything that's not a proper road um, with a speed boost item. Which is interesting. Like, it still slows you down. You go faster than you would normally, like, on a, you know, non-road section, but you still don't go that fast. And I've just looked at the map, and everyone is super far behind me, but look at that purple dot in the bottom right. What are you doing down there? Ah, you crazy bastard. And just like this, we are across the line. 153.74. Oh. <sighs> I am enjoying this game so much, and we're already a good portion of the way through the game. I know we haven't reached the second boss fight yet, but we're literally about to do that. I think right now, in this episode, we are going to fight Papu Papu, which is the most unintimidating boss fight name I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, here we go. Papu much tired of watching puny slugs race so slow. Papu want in action to lay boom down big and prove Papu is world's best driver. Papu moves so fast, you munch drags. Here we go, Papu Papu's challenge. <laughs> wow! Oh man. So, can we beat Papu Papu on the first attempt, just like Rip and Roo? Stay tuned for CTRs. Uh, fuck it, I don't know what to call it. Papu's Pyramid with Big Lard Arts himself. Also, I don't really want to spoil things, but this game surprisingly has unlockable characters. Not for story mode, for multiplayer. Also, although Papu Papu is whatever, look at his image on the left. That doesn't look at all like Papu, and I always laughed, because I thought it looked like a weird sort of dog thing with the ears hanging down, like, Hello, I'm Papu, the dog. Just doesn't look right. Anyway, so Papu is throwing, oh shit. This is bad, this is bad. I was supposed to be doing well. Okay, similar to Mario Kart as well, whenever you spawn back in, if you press your X button and get your, your acceleration going, then you can, uh, you can you can accelerate whenever you land. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on the wrist, not commentary. Ah! Lovely. Okay, so he's very far ahead, and Papu, as you can tell, throws potions. Throws green ones behind him up in the air, but just sets the red ones down. Have I told you what the red ones do yet? Fuck it, I'll tell you anyway. The red ones daze you, you get a big ring cloud over you, and it slows you down. There's also an item we haven't seen yet, which is a clock, and it's pretty nifty! Oh, three rockets! Okay, this is good. I need some Wampa Fruit, because I am very far behind, and I need to catch up, and he's not even throwing fucking potions behind him anymore. Come on, drift around these corners better. That'll do, okay. He's right ahead, dead ahead. That one's hitting him. Yeah, suck my dick! What is the, what, oh, it hit him, it hit him, it went around, it went around, okay. I can, oh, I can't fire behind me, okay. I'll keep this last one until I need it. This is lap three, I don't specifically need it. Is he going to throw in front of him? He is, is he? I can't tell. Is he throwing in front? I should really watch in front of me. Oh, wrong button! I tried to drift with R2. Okay, so sometimes jumping around a corner gets you around it tighter than drifting. Good to know. I probably knew that already. I'm trying to do this too much like Mario Kart and drift very tight on the corners whenever I'm not that good at this game yet. Well, I am good, at, but I'm not good enough because it's been years since I played it properly. Like, like I said, this is like my first time playing the game in full. Well, I don't think I said that specifically. Fuck you! This is my first time playing the game in full in literally years. Because I've always had the game file complete on my PS1 memory card. And since I'm playing this on a PS3 instead for better graphics, my memory card's completely at risk, so I have to do everything all over again. Which I'm okay with. It's fine. It's no big deal. Papu's catching up though. That's a big deal. So let's jump and drift. Oh, nice drift, bruh. Fucking nice drift. He can't possibly catch up to me now. Look at me go! 
suck my papu papu. But look at his tiny eyes and his big red nose and his strange dog mouth. I don't get what this image is supposed to be. It doesn't look anything like Papu. Anyway, so there we have it. Second boss fight is complete. We have two more boss fights to do and we still have all of our CTR tokens and relics to collect as well for the first two worlds. And like I said, please leave a comment. Let me know whether or not you think I should split them up to showing, showing you where they are or should I show the races in full for both the CTR tokens and the... Um, Ah, oh, what do you call it? The relic challenges? Because there's boxes in the relic challenges that reduce your time, and if you get them all, then you get a big chunk out of your time reduced, and that's how you get, like, the best possible time in the game. So maybe I should leave them in full so I can show you how to get all the boxes, or at least how I'm trying to get all the boxes. Uh, Papu not himself today. Maybe Papu not eating a big breakfast. You are fast for be so small. Here is key to help. Oxide much bigger problem for you. Him not as big, but him much more grumpy. <laughs> Someone animate Nitro's Oxide as, hey, I'm grump, I'm not so grump. Alright, so that is the second boss fight. Uh, which way to the next world? Uh, this way? Okay. So, thank you so much for watching episode... F is this four? I think it's episode four of Crash Team Racing. Next time we'll be going into the... Oh, shit! Right Stick Drives?! I need to go before my mind explodes. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. So before I go for this episode of CTR, I just paused and clicked quit because I forgot that this game has an, a save function, and it's not auto-save, and I've just gone and quit the game without saving. So I have to redo four episodes of work. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> here's some behind the scenes. I'm, re I'm exporting the video, and there's my face cam, and there's my audio, and there's CTR. And I know I have to play through the whole thing again, because I, I'll get back to that point. It'll be basically the same thing in episode 5. Anyway, see you next time. Goodbye.